find the equation of the line that goes through the point 1, negative 2 and is first parallel to the line y equals 3x plus 2. First of all, let's pick out the slope right away. The slope of this line is 3. m equals 3. The slope is 3. And parallel lines have the same slope. I could say m sub 1 equals m sub 2, or uh, one line that is parallel to another has the same slope. So we've got these, this point 1, negative 2, so I'll put this into uh, point-slope form, that is y minus y sub 1 equals the slope times x minus x sub 1, and then throwing that in there, I've got y minus a negative 2, that makes it y plus 2. y minus negative 2 is the same as y plus 2. Equals the slope of 3 times x minus 1, our 1 coordinate. And certainly you could, uh, this is an equation, that's fine. If you want to make this into a slope-intercept form, then you would solve for y and say y equals... Uh, 3x minus 3, I better subtract that 2 from each side. I subtracted it from the left-hand side, I better subtract it over here. And then y equals 3x minus 5. So there is a line that is parallel to the 3x plus 2 line, but it goes through the point 1, negative 2. Perpendicular lines, on the other hand, look like this, and the slope of 1 would equal the opposite reciprocal of the other. So if we have a slope here of 3, then our perpendicular slope, the one that we're going to use for this, is going to be the opposite of the reciprocal, so negative 1 third. All right, throwing that into this slope, uh, point slope form, we would get y plus 2, that's again y minus the negative 2, equals negative 1 third times x minus 1. And I'll leave the y plus 2 over here for just a bit. y plus 2 equals negative 1 third x plus 1 third. I'm running out of room there, so I'll subtract 2 here, and I get y equals negative 1 third. Let's see. 1 third minus 2 gives us negative 1 and 2 thirds. Negative 1 third x. Um, so negative 1 and 2 thirds gives us negative 5 thirds. Okay, so there is an example of parallel and perpendicular lines.